The Twilight Zone, 1959, Little Girl Lost. We're travelling through another dimension, dimension not only of sight and sound, but a mind, a journey into wondrous land, with boundaries that are that of imagination. You next stop the Twilight Zone. Mummy, I get it. Mummy, Mummy, you're going. I'm just putting on my slippers on. Mummy, all right, sweetheart, I'm coming. Hush up, Mac. Shh, what's the matter, baby? What? You do, fair enough. Come on. Well, what do you do? Roll underneath, Daddy. All right, honey. I'm right here. Now come on out. Come on, just crawl. You, you just crawled underneath the bed, Tina. All right, honey. Come on, take my hand. Come on. What's in the Daddy? All right, just a minute. Chris, what is it? I don't know. One frightened little girl. Bettina Miller. Six years of age, average height and build, light brown hair, quite pretty, being tucked in bed by her mother a few hours ago. Ah, there's the rub, as Hamlet put it. For Bettina Miller can be heard quite clearly, despite rather curious fact she hasn't been seen, can't be seen at all. Let's say for a moment in the twilight zone. What's the matter? She's not here. What do you mean she's not? Look. She's, what do you mean she's not? Look for yourself, Tina, Mummy. I turned on the light. No, no, it's crazy. This sounds as if Mummy's, she, she's Mummy. Pick me up. Chris, where is she? I don't know. Well, what are you, we're going to do? I don't know, honey. Wait, but we're not going to panic. Tina, shut up, Mac. Bill, Bill, this is Chris. Can you come over to the house right away? I'm oh, sorry, Bill. This is an emergency. Tina's disappeared. No, no, she hasn't been kidnapped. Tina, Tina, is there here? But she's not here. Bill, for crying out loud, will you get over here? Hunt and hurry. Shouldn't we wake her? Bill's coming over, honey. Bill? Well, he's a physicist. Maybe he can help us out. I don't know. I think Carl couldn't think of anything else. Oh, God, where is she? Where is she? Listen, I better go and let the dog in before he wakes up the whole neighborhood. I am going to check underneath the house. Mac, come here. Come here. Come here, Mac. He's gone. No, they're not under the house. What's wrong, Chris? Listen. Tina woke up with the, the, the crying. So I went in the bedroom. I couldn't find her. Let the dog in. And he went under the bed and he's gone too. Let's move the bed. Oh, Bill, where is she? I'm about to lose my mind. Hold on, Ruth. She's breathing normally. You must be, she must be all right. Now, wait a second. You better mark where legs go. Here. Still there? Yes. Now you've, you've felt all over here. Yes. And nothing okay. What are you looking for? The opening, maybe. The opening to what? I'm not sure, Ruth. You're if, as if we're going to step on her. No. Be sure they, f- they felt over here, all over here. Well, maybe not every single inch. Take it easy, take it easy. I just don't get it. Now wait, wait. What is it, the opening? The, to what? I think to another dimension. Another what? I don't know if I'm right. I can't think of anything else. Tina must fallen out of bed accidentally, rolled over, rolled under it, and gone through. There were well, what's, and that's where Matt went, to her. Huh? Probably sensed it, and was sharper than uh, the, about these things as humans. He knew that she was in there, and went after her. And why can't we? No. We don't know what's in there. My daughter's in there. I know that, Ruth. But we can't. Bill for crying out, she's right there, here. All we have to do is reach in and pull her out. That's as simple as that. Why hasn't Matt found her yet? No. If if it's what I think, it's a kind of gap opening to another dimension. Probably the fourth dimension. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, if it just wouldn't be laid out like our world, Chris. Well, there must be something we can do. Have you got a crayon, a piece of chalk here? Right, let's see just how big this thing is. Bill, I don't understand. I don't understand it. Third dimension is just a step below the fourth, Chris. It's a big step, guarantee, but it's just one step. Now, if we point in space, part of the particular line in the fourth dimension. So... So although all the lines forming the fourth dimension are particular, 
Fairy point and the third are not necessarily parallel to us. But if enough of the lines are parallel in both dimensions and given an area, it must it might create an opening. What was the opening in what always? Has it all the, this opening always been here? It might have been. I doubt it though. Believe me, I have no expert on this. Who is, but it's the fact that the junction between dimensions of freaks of nature what happened. Who knows how often? Really, I say, I hope there it is. Shh, what's the matter? I can't hear anymore. What? Oh no, Tina, Tina, hold it down. Start moving around, huh? Move around, move around. Shh, what in heaven's name? Start looking for her. Where? Anywhere, the whole house. I'm here, I want my dolly. What is this, Chris? I told you what I think. But if she went into this other dimension, the bedroom, if she's still asleep, then what's she doing here? Chris, if she's around our world, a moment might seem to us be coming from all over the place. Actually, she might be just turning in her sleep. Call the dog. Huh? Call the dog, Harry. Mac. Yeah, Mac. Come, Mac. That's it. That's a boy. Mac, where are you? Where are you taking me, Mac? Mac, don't. Tell me, tell her to go with the dog. Go on. Tina, mum, go with the Mac, baby. Go with him. Where are you? I'm here, baby. Never mind. Just let tell her to go with the dog, hurry. So we can go with Mac right away. Will you take me where you are? Yes, baby, you will. All right, mummy. Let's go. Call the dog again. Mac. Here, boy, here. Oh, bam. Can't we try it? It, it will have to be the dog. You can't take a chance of going in there. Mac, here, boy. Here, Mac. Hold it. He's doing it. Man. I'm up. Come on, boy. Come on, Mac. Here, boy. Tina, mummy. Come on, Mac. Come on, out, Barry. Come on out, boy. Tina, Mac. Bring out her out. Daddy, where are you? We're here, baby. We're here. We're right here. I can't see you. Mac, did Mac bring you out. Why did he do it? Baby, you can't. No, Tina. Tina, take my hand. Chris, don't do it. My hand, my honey. Take a hold of it. Here, here. Can't see it, Daddy. I hear you, honey. Chris, can you hear me? We're right here, pal. Don't move. I've got to. Don't move an inch. I've got to find her. It her comes to you, Chris. Call her. Tina, Daddy, where are you? I'm right here. Come to the sound of my voice. It might not work, Chris. Get Mac to bring her to you in a hurry, Tina. Where are you, Daddy? I'm right here, baby. Is that Mac with you? Yes, but where are you? I'm here, baby. Grab it onto Mac's collar. Hear me? Hurry up, Chris. Grab onto his collar. Oh, you got it? Yes. Got a good rip? Yes, Daddy. I don't let go. Mac? Here, boy. Bring it down, down uh, here. Daddy, hold on t- to him tight. Don't let go. And I won't. But where are you, Daddy? You'll be with me in a minute, honey. Just hang on. Come on, Mac. Come on, bring her here. Is he bringing you, Tina? Yes. All right, hang on, sweet. Tight, sweetheart. Don't let go. I won't. But where are you, Daddy? You'll be with me in a hundred minute, honey. You know, just hang on tight. Come on, boy. Mac, bring her home her to me. Come on, Mac. Hurry, Chris. That's a boy. That a boy. Come on. Can you see her? No, wait a minute. Yes. Here, boy. Come on, boy. That's right. Bring her to me. That's right. Okay, closer now. Okay, got him. I've got Tina. All right. Now hold on tight. You got a good grip? I mean a good one. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Tina, mummy, mummy, oh dear, my darling. You're fine. I've got to get her out of this room. Mummy, mummy, oh man. What happened? I pulled you out. How could you see me? Half of you still are here. I mean to say, you had a hold of me all this time? That's right, old oh, Bill. You know, I didn't, I didn't even feel you. Say, hey, listen, why didn't you want me to reach in here? There. I, and how come I kept trying and how come I kept trying, telling you to hurry, yeah, that's why. I was closing up all the time when you were in there. Never fire even a half sec, sec, few seconds and a half. You would have been there. He had been here. The other half, the other half, where? Fourth dimension, fifth, perhaps. They'd never be, that never, they never found the answer. Like a battery of research physicists, quick with every device, no demand, electronic. Otherwise, no result was ever achieved. Set perhaps a little more respect for the uncertainty about the of the Twilight Zone.